Today, these two are going head to head. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're doing a head to head of two of my favorite pistol optics, the Hollow Sun 407C and the Swamp Fox Justice. First, I wanna say that I have not had any issues with either of these optics holding zero or flickering or anything like that. Both have been 100% reliable every time I go to pick them up. I also have separate reviews of each one of these on the channel that I'll link in the description for you. Now, let's take a look at some specs on the two contenders. First, we've got the 407C. It measures 1.78 inches long, 1.24 inches wide, and 1.14 inches tall. It's got a two MOA dot reticle with 10 levels of brightness adjustment, as well as two levels of night vision compatible brightness. The 407C has a body made of 7075 T6 aluminum, and it's got a glass window. It's IP67 waterproof, which means it'll survive under a maximum of one meter of water for a maximum of 30 minutes. It weighs in at 1.5 ounces, and it uses the Trigicon RMR mounting footprint. MSRP for the 407C is about $290, and you can find it usually for a little under that. I got this one at Brownells for $245. Now, the Swamp Fox Justice is one of two full-size pistol optics that Swamp Fox offers. The Justice has dimensions that are very similar to the 407C. It measures 1.78 inches long, 1.24 inches wide, and 1.04 inches tall. This means it's essentially the same size as the 407C with just a touch more height. It has a 3 MOA dot projected onto its 27 millimeter window with 10 levels of brightness adjustment available. It's IPX7 water resistant, so it'll also survive under a maximum of one meter of water for a maximum of 30 minutes. Just like the Hollow Sun, it uses the same Trigicon RMR footprint and it weighs one ounce even without the battery, says Hollow Sun. The body is made of 7075 T6 aluminum and it also has a glass window. The Justice carries an MSRP of $240, but can almost always be found for less than that. Brownells currently has them on sale for just a hair over $200. So just looking over the specs, we can see some differences already. The Hollow Sun is about a half ounce heavier than the Swamp Fox, which I think is due to the body being thicker up here on the hood of the window on top of the optic. The more notable difference though is the water resistance rating. The Hollow Sun is rated IP67, while the Swamp Fox is rated IPX7. The difference here is that the Hollow Sun is rated dustproof, while the Swamp Fox is not. This could be important for those of you that live in dusty and windy climates, like in the Southwest United States, for example. The Hollow Sun will let through no dust or debris or anything like that. The Swamp Fox is not rated for that. Now, on to battery life. The Hollow Sun is powered by an included CR1632 battery, which is mounted on a tray on this side of the optic, right there. This means that the battery can be replaced without having to remove the optic from the weapon, which means that it doesn't subsequently need to be re-zeroed with every battery change, like some other optics. The Hollow Sun is rated to deliver up to 50,000 hours of life on setting 6. Now, aiding this battery life rating is a shake weight feature. This means that the optic turns off automatically after a certain amount of time that the user can specify in order to save its battery. But as soon as it senses any small movement, it turns it back on. Regular viewers of the channel know that I really like this feature and it's one thing that I look for in a pistol optic. The Swamp Fox also uses a single CR1632 battery and it loads from the top of the optic here. Just like the Hollow Sun, this means that the battery can be replaced without having to remove the optic from the weapon. The Swamp Fox has that same shake awake feature that the Hollow Sun does, and this is rated to deliver up to 4,500 hours at the lowest setting, or Swamp Fox has one year of real world use. Now, comparing the two, I think that they're very similar. The only real difference for me here is the actual battery loading mechanism. I find that the Hollow Sun drawer mechanism is easier to use than the Swamp Fox top loading system. Battery life for me would be a wash since I replace my optic batteries every year to make sure that they're fresh. By the way, have you replaced your optic batteries and magazine springs this year? You should. So, while the two companies rate their products with different scales, I think that both of these should easily make it a year in real world use. Now, onto the reticle and to the brightness controls for each unit. The Hollow Sun reticle, like I mentioned, is a 2 MOA dot with 10 levels of brightness adjustment, as well as 2 levels of night vision compatible brightness. The brightness of the reticle is controlled by the buttons on the side, and they're flush mounted to prevent inadvertent pressing. There's also a lockout feature which disables input from the buttons altogether to eliminate this possibility. The 407C also has what Holosun calls a solar backup mode. This mode allows the optic to keep working even if the battery dies through the use of the solar panel here on the top of the housing. The optic will use the sunlight it collects as a way to power itself. This thing also functions as an ambient light sensor for the automatic brightness adjustment feature. The brighter the ambient light that it sees, the brighter the optic sets the dot. As the light dims, so does the optic. 
Meanwhile, the Swamp Fox has a 3 MOA dot reticle with 10 levels of brightness adjustment. The brightness of that reticle is controlled by these two buttons here, flush mounted on the side of the unit. You can also shut the optic off completely by holding down the up button here. Comparing the two, the reticles are very similar in both layout, size, and available brightness. The difference is the number of features that the Holosun has and how the controls are laid out. I don't use it actively, but the solar backup and the automatic brightness controls are great features to have. Where the Holosun really starts to set it apart from the Justice for me is with the brightness controls. So let's take a look at those. The Holosun has a lockout feature that makes sure accidental presses don't adjust settings, which is something that the Swamp Fox does not have. I practice with both of these on an almost daily basis, and it feels like I'm always bumping the brightness on the Swamp Fox lower and lower as I use it. I have to stop practice and tap the brightness back up so I can see the dot. The Hollow Sun doesn't have this problem because I have the brightness locked to my preferred level and it won't change no matter how much I bump that button. Adding a bit of salt to this wound is the fact that the Swamp Fox has buttons that are mounted a little bit further apart from each other which makes them even more likely to catch an inadvertent press. I will interject here that this isn't as big of a deal when you're using a Justice with the Ironside Shield like I have here because it provides a little bit of a lip there that prevents inadvertent presses of the buttons. Finally, I wanted to talk about zeroing and adjustment. The Hollow Sun has two turrets for adjustment. It's got a turret for elevation on top here, and it's got a turret for windage adjustment on the right side here. Each of these turrets has a one MOA per click adjustment, and they make a nice audible click so you know when you've adjusted them. Hollow Sun claims that the 407C comes zeroed at 25 yards from the factory, and I found this to be pretty much true. I dropped it onto the slide and it only took a click or two of elevation adjustment to zero it out, and I haven't had to adjust it at all from there. Meanwhile, the Swamp Fox also has two turrets for adjustment. Elevation is on top here, just like the Hollow Sun, and windage is on the right side, just like the Hollow Sun again. Swamp Fox says that there is a total of 45 MOA available for windage adjustment and 90 MOA of available elevation adjustment. They don't specify a per click MOA rating, which I found a bit frustrating, as the Swamp Fox needed more adjustment out of the box to get zeroed than the Hollow Sun did. I've zeroed multiple pistol optics before, so it didn't affect me as much, but I can see this being an issue for someone who's never done it before. I think that a per click MOA adjustment rating is the second big Swamp Fox shortcoming, and it would definitely be beneficial here. So overall, what do I think? Is the Hollow Sun worth that extra 50 bucks? In a word, yes. There's three things that stand out to me that make it worth the extra money. There's value adders like the solar backup, the button lockout, and a better battery tray design. The second is a better water and dust resistance rating. And third is better build quality in the adjustment of the turrets. Having a 25 yard zero from the factory is also a really nice bonus. Don't get me wrong, the Swamp Fox is really good for the money, but the Hollow Sun just edges it out for not that much more money. And it's really easy to see why these things are so popular. So that's it. That's the PT head to head between the Hollow Sun 407C and the Swamp Fox Justice. Looks like the Hollow Sun takes this round. Throw me a like if you appreciate what I'm doing, and let me know in the comments if you like optic reviews or you like these head to heads, and let me know what optics you would want me to cover in the future. I'll leave links to both of these in the description for you if you want to pick one up. Next week, we've got an awesome video on mods for the Taurus G3, so if that interests you, I recommend making sure that you're subscribed and you've got that bell rung. That's all I've got for you this time, so until next time, stay safe.